Hey boys and girls, today we are going to be doing lesson 5.8. It says, use connecting blocks to show two ways to make 10. Draw and show your work. Well, if, let's see, if you don't have like um, connecting blocks, you can use um, Fruit Loops or pennies or anything, circle objects. So let's count all my Fruit Loops to make sure I have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten. And I know I have ten because ten is going to be our total. And I know one easy way to make ten is five plus five because it's a double fact. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five in this circle. And one, two, three, four, five in this circle. And down here, I'm going to write... 5 plus 5 equals 10. But then it tells us to show two ways. So I'm going to do another one, but this one I'm going to do pennies. And I'm trying to think of a way to do another one, but I can't find one. So I'm just going to take all these pennies and put them in this circle and these pennies in this circle. Because you know you have 10, right? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to count them. Uh, 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. So I'm gonna write that down here. So I'm gonna write eight plus two equals ten because I had two in those circles. And eight in this circle. So when you broke up your ten into two numbers, you got eight and two. Okay, so what would this look like on your paper? How did you do this on your paper? So for this on my paper, I drew two circles and then put five in each because if you can see, there's five in each circle in there. And then the same as right here, I wrote five plus five equals 10. Um, and I know this because five and five is actually a double fact. And so it's easier because you just split the number in half. Okay, and then over here, what'd you do? Well, over here, I put eight dots in here because I had eight pennies in this circle and two dots in here because I had two pennies in this circle. And if you count them, look, it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one and two. So I wrote down here, eight plus two equals 10. Okay, so if we open up the lesson and look at the lesson, we're gonna see that they're gonna give you numbers and you're gonna have to write different ways to make those numbers with addition and, and subtraction. And you're also gonna have to do subtraction. So if on this number right here, we had 10 right here, and we were gonna do subtraction, what could we do? Well, we could take away two, and if we take away two, what do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 10 take away two equals eight. So if the lesson starts to get difficult when you go into subtraction, you can just always rely on your counting things to help you count, right? Yep. Thanks, Gwen. You're welcome.